Hello everyone, this is Bahala Gaming TV, and we're back with Hellblade again. This is episode four. We are uh, in, well, we tried to get into Helheim, and then we fell down a bridge, and we ended up in this other area, and now we got to get a sword. So, let's get into it. Well, that loaded quick. All right. Got some mountains. Got all sorts of cool stuff. On a beach somewhere. See what we can find. Oh, we got ourselves one of the uh, lore stones. How many is in this area, I wonder? So there's four of them here. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrvin. All right, the sword. So I think the sword that we were trying to get is named after that guy, Grom, and it's over there on that tree. So this is a different sword. We're on another story. Story within a story. So we need three more of those lore stones. And we're going to get them. Go up here and see what's going on. Got some bones up there. Oh, we got some, some greenery. Things are getting green. Ooh, look at that. It's like a little house. Let's look over here first. Looking like a dead end. Yep, definitely a dead end. That is cool though. It's like a mountain with a horse head. Or like the mountain grew around it or something. Um, that's a nice wagon. Let's go in here, I guess. The only way to get to go. Pretty dark in here. Who's there? Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? I think we got two ways to go. Guess we're going left first. I'll find him. Like a labyrinth. Can I light that? What was that? Did you hear that? Nothing. What was that voices? Is that the hint of voice or the voice of the dead? Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can Where you hear is he? Him? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. <gasps> have you lost him? You're going the wrong way. Are you lost and have you lost him? Where are you? Turn left. Ah, uh, turn right. Over this way. What was that? This way. Follow this way. Nothing. Where are we? They are not helping. There he is. There he is. Dillian, there he is. Finally. You found him. What's wrong? What happened? Where's he gone? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Him, get him back. He's just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose How him? How could she find him? Not Dillion, man. It's a tarp. I guarantee you there's gonna be a lore stone somewhere in here. It's gonna be hidden. Left or right. Let's go right. Found one. 
I knew there was one here. I can hear him. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Okay, I think he's done now. There's a pause in there and I thought he was already finished. Alright, let's check that other direction. I definitely have a feeling I'm going to get lost around here. Hearing whispers. Got a little cave in. Can we light this thing? No. Ooh, another lore stone. Within the burial mine. Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> okay, so we got to go through all the little corners in here. Because clearly they got the lore stones hidden around in this labyrinth. The place didn't look that big from the outside. Okay, I think we already went down this way. Didn't we? Yeah, okay. That's the beginning. So when we went here, we didn't turn left first, we went right, so we're going back here. And I think we went up here and we went left and found that other lore stone. Down that way? Yep. So let's check this way. Why is this one lit? Find another way, it's not working. You have to use your mind, where can you go? You're failing, find another Think. way. Ah. Think. Focus. So it's an illusion. If you don't pick the right path, then it resets, the it seems. Is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. You have to listen. Keep going. Send one. Follow the voice. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. I don't want to go there yet. We gotta find that lore stone. Okay, so if they are connected in a way, if I light this, maybe one of those will light back up. Like that one right there. Yep, so that's like a mirror. So we gotta go this way. different over here. Oh, this is definitely a tarp. Alright, before we go into that little little crawl way, we're gonna look the other way. Because the torch didn't light up.
Laura Stone, are you in here? Okay, so that lit up. Go this way. Oh, there's a gate. Doesn't look like I can open it, though. Go this way. There's a lore stone there, I think. There it is. That's the last one. That's not Tillian. That doesn't sound like Tillian. It sounds like something more dangerous. Something is here. Something is in the labyrinth with you. Something evil. Hervor ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Hervor demands her inheritance. But her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it. But the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. All right. We found all of them. So let's get out of this place. Go back to that crawl space. Yeah, I think we gotta go this way. Let's see. I think it might be lit up down there. Yeah. So now we gotta go back this way. And then around the corner, I think. Around the corner to the left. Go to the creepy noises. And this should lead us to a crawl space. There it is. I'm the maze commander. Do it, Senua. It's a tart. That voice. It's not Dillion. Everything's getting blurry. That just lit that up, I think. But this seems different. Yeah, this is definitely different. What is that? Alright. Trip to hell we go. Dillion wants me to face my fears. It ain't Dillion, lady. Throws a torch. Father. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief is, um, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy! Is going to save you. No one can. 
When they see the rot growing inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send my hand. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! All right, I think we got one of them done. It's done. We did it, but there's more. Keep going. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's more to do. It's not going to be easy. So it looks like she ran from her father in a chase after Dillion. Let's go do another one. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty, and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... It what is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. We're not on a beach. It? wrong. This has to be wrong. This place stinks. Uh, there he is. There Did he is. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. Find He's going him. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air Where's smells. it gone? Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. You just have to solve it and then you will find him. Then you will succeed. He's so close. <laughs> just one <laughs> It's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. I don't think that's Dillian, man. You just keep following that guy. Or whatever it is, the spirit. Oh, the stinky water. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. For the water. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough... As the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like them. We got another one of those arches. Is that a lore stone? Senua. We got a puzzle up there. Oh, we gotta look at that. It's broken. Fix it. You have to fix it. How are we no, going to have to it? find him? Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. 
Go to the house in a second. We got another portal over here. Ah, uh, okay, we might have to go up on the watchtower to do it. What's this portal do? Oh, it opens that area. So we can get up on that watchtower? Wait a minute. So we can't get over there. And the ladder's broken. I guess we gotta go this way. There's a lore stone right there. So there are lore stones here. Oh, there's a lot. There's one, two, wait, no, wait. No, that isn't a lot. Which one is it? The Northmen speak of a death moon. A light there's two. shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm. And first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it. Because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware. Because there will be death in that house. There will be death. Does that open up that side? That's it. You did it. She didn't do it. It's not done yet. Oh, okay. I know Just what that's supposed to do. You found a way to climb the tower. The ladder. You can see it. Aligned to the truth. The bridge. All right, let's align the bridge. Where's the other lower stone? Hopefully it's in the house. The music's changing. It's getting all ominous and eerie. Laura Stones, are you out here? There's only two in this area. So we got to find it, man. Alright, hopefully this thing's in the house. Make sure we look around, because I don't think we can come back here. Oh, there's some bugs. Genoa, come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. Focus on the runes. Focus the runes. Oh, he's in there. Quickly, focus. Focus now. Focus now. End the trial. Got the last one. There was a Northman called Grettir. Big, red-haired, immensely strong. But he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature came to his house to drag him outside into darkness and kill him. He resisted with every ounce of his strength. He clung to the door frame, but it gave way, and they spilled out of the house, and the monster fell back, and the moon shone down on its ghastly face. Grettir, terrified, cuts off its head, but is cursed forever. From that moment on, wherever he was, he would see those hideous eyes staring back at him. Sometimes, 
we allow our own fear to haunt us to our grave. Ain't that the truth? All right, we got all the lore stones. What is going on? Did I just die? Okay, here we go. Gotta look for all the symbols. It's a big maze. Got one. Alright, we gotta follow Don't Dillion. You'll start to burn. You'll burn what should I do? Where's Dillion? Where is he? This is taking too long. Can you hear him? You're two lost. Runes. You have to find them. The there it is. Go towards it. Find us. So good. I have to find one more. One more. Find the other symbol. You're lost. Where's Dylan? Where is he? Found it. You've got them. You have them. Where's the door? Have to find a way out. Find the gate. Get out. Get run. 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 Oh no. Keep moving. Gotta find Dillion, where is he at? There he is. That's pretty crazy. Sanua! Sanua! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. Good people, but... they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make no trouble. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Okay, that's what two done. Pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this is nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. It's just a pointless test. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. You're being tested. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I want to tell you a story 
about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. There we go. It's a big tower. Oh wait, this is at uh it's the other side of the bridge. Oh there's a face over there. Push this down. That's weird. It's lighter. It's nicer. I like it here. Can we stay? Let's stay here. I like the way it feels. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. Oh, we got a lore stone right here. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Mm, got Loki, huh? Can we open this door? Nope, can't go there yet. You can feel me. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. He always said he He he's close. He cares about you. You can feel he's close. He loves you. You can feel his love calling you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. I wonder if I'm supposed to change it back to the old one. I'm gonna go up here real quick and check the gate. I might have to look back through the mask and change it to the old world, since I'm on the other side of the bridge now. Yeah, it's chained off. Okay, let's try that. Let's go change the world back to the nasty, ugly one. Oh, and the tower's complete. I just realized that. Not all messed up. Yep, and that gate's open now. Oh, both of them are. Alright, let's head over there. So, see what we got over here. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. We got another mask. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other world. He's in the other world. He's in the dark world. The dark. The world once seemed so simple. 
black and white, darkness and light, narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further, to peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. It looks like that might be the symbol. All right, let's check the lore stone. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. He was the only one that really loved her. He did love her. Let's go up here and see if we can find where we're supposed to do this. You can't go up you there. Can't go up Not there. in this world. He was kind to her. You can't. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go outside and do it. Plus I'm not seeing something. Which can be highly likely. Let's go back into the old world and we'll go to the other side. He was kind to her. Your curse has claimed Dillian. I don't think that's Dillian, man. I keep saying it is, but it's gonna be something else. I know it. It's probably that evil lady that's uh, stopping people from going across the bridge. What do we got over here? He led you astray. You should have listened to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? This love has tortured you, and it tortures me. No, this isn't the right way. There's no mask over here. All right, we got to go back there. We missed something. Do you know? Was it worth it? You're still alive, and Dillian's dead. He doesn't deserve to be dead. How does that make you feel? I don't feel nothing. He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? All right, these symbols are all over the place. Okay. Maybe it's a shadow on the wall or something. Ooh, what's this? Oh, look at that. Okay, let's go. Up. It's the, the sun coming through the window. Do you think she remembers him? Nailed it. So it had something to do with the window. Why isn't he here? The curse, Dillian. He's gone. You. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you. We're going. Calm down. Please. Nobody will know this. Here we go. A door to another door. We got another lore stone. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. 
the blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hood is slain. All right, got the stairs. Let's go up. It's a cool tower. Oh, we got another lore stone. the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Looks like we got more symbols. Let's grab these. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend. Dillian. Was it worth it? She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. Movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. She was caught between two worlds. The hopes of her and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Okay, we got that, Letty. There's a lore stone right here. What about out here? Oh, we got one right here. Two more. Or one more now. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods, but if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let Hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. All right. So now we got this door. Now we should be able to go back to the present time. Dillian saved you from them. 
and then get over to the other side. And there's another lore stone right there. That's the last one on the other side of that gate. Wrap around. Now we got access to it. And the gate's open. And we'll just push that down. She knew best. <laughs> she thought she had light within her when she had She is pure darkness. And we gotta go in the path in order to access it, it seems. So we got this bridge down, so now we can do it. Let's go get it. Does it feel warm? Do you feel safe? I am loves you. Last one. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, and so must we. Do you remember the smell of his neck? Where is this symbol? Oh, there it is. All right, we got one more. Do you remember the smell? This is pointless. Runes, you see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? What if there are true? The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the real world. The gods are linked, but it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language. You don't understand. So what if they're all about wasting your time just to in a way that nobody else did. <laughs> she thinks she's doing it. <laughs> You're so special. She thinks she I'm the cross. Yes. Dillian never much cared for the underworld and looked dimly upon the druids like her father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly Began to unravel. Go to him. Go to him. That's it. Quicker. 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 And we made it. Creepy light. No! 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 It's gone. It's your fault. He's disappeared. You've lost him to the sea. He's gone. You've lost him to the water. Just come to the water. Genoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? 
Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. I think they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind, and they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods. Northmen say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Wonder what this trial is. Where am I? I can't see. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. The breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others. The voices. They've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. So dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. <sighs> Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. Sure is dark around here. She's doing the Odin trial. She's all blind. There's fire. Reminds me of the old Daredevil movie. I don't know if there's any lore stones in this area. If there is, that'd be a real pain to find them all. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. Sounds like a river or a stream. I've reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shenua. My father. He taught me that the hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. But no coward. He proved that to me in the warrior tribe. 
This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't for that. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need people like you. Okay. I'll do my best. There's bodies all over the place. How is she able to duck under that? She didn't even touch it. She's got the sense. There is a house. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. <gasps> and out of ten landing. Oh no, is there chains there? How am I supposed to get past this thing? Oh, I gotta stay in the dark. What is that? Oh, there's chains again. You just gotta work around it, I guess. More chains. Keep going. Keep going. Oh man, I think that was close. Don't even look back, just keep it moving. What was it is the question. Okay. Is there another one? Oh, there's multiples. Oh, is it moving? I don't like this. this game just got creepy. All right, I guess we gotta wait for our opening. Turning around. Let's go this way. She can't run either. What's that one doing? Oh, no, no, no. Easy now. I, I don't want nothing to do with you. Go back. There's more of them. There's a lot I think more. Moving. You're breathing too fast. I'm scared. This is the sound of your breath. In and out. In and out. Where's that one going? It will. Can do this at all. Keep going. Oh, it's coming back. No. No. Okay. 
Oh, that was so close. By the nipples of Zeus, we gotta get through here. Easy now. There's one on the right. Let's keep it going. He's coming back. Get around him. Okay, I think we're making it. That was close. Hopefully that was all we had to do. This game just got creepy. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. But you are in control. That was like a fart. Stinky bodies. Oh, look at that. All right, don't fall. He wants us to fall. I ain't doing it. I'm getting across this and we're getting out of here. A well. There's a well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Do some Mario, man. Oh no. Did you? This is even worse. Back up. Bring it around town. It's coming back. Okay. Bring around the pillar. Calm down, lady. Keep it going. Keep it going. Watch out for them toes. Oh, we're getting through. Dillian, is that you? I can see a light. Yes, I can see you too. It's a trap. Whole thing's a trap. Don't go to the light, Caroline. I think we're almost out of here. Who's got the flashlight? It's Dillian. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, Someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. All right, we made it out of it. Go get the sword. You did it for the sword. You have to get the light. 
with grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. All right, everyone, that was the end of episode four for Hellblade, Send You a Sacrifice. The next time, we're going to go and get Grom's sword and head over to Helheim and hopefully fight the big boss lady that's been blocking us from the path. If you guys enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so I can get this video to more people, and uh, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think of the game so far. All right, everyone, see you in the next one. Later.